theatre on the bay, um, the, of course, in Cape Town, was one of most respect, one of Cape Town's most respected stages. Oh, I and I had the privilege of going through to go to Theatre of the Bay for the first time. And their newest shows, the producer, is based on a 1976 film by Mal Brooks. And Afternoon Express and I had the pleasure of going behind the scenes. Amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. of Africa's Atlantic Seaboard to go behind the scenes with the cast and crew for Peter Turin's production of Mal Brooks' musical comedy, The Producers. But let's go inside to catch the cast warming up. Among them, television audience favourites, Terence Bridget, Earl Gregory and Raquel Munn. I'm privileged enough to be joined by the cast of The Producers by Mal Brooks and Raquel, you have done such a sterling job exuding the confidence and the fierceness of Eula, and she definitely preaches if you've got it, flaunts, which I'm all about. When you got me, flaunt it. Show your assets, let them know you're proud. When you got me, audiences light up every single time she hits the stage? Well, I think, you know, she's only introduced right at the end of the first act, so she's a bit of a breath of fresh air. She comes in and she acts very innocent. She's just liberal in her own European way, and she just, she's just quite funny. And she's a fun character to play, and I think it's just, you know, uh, the excitement. And she's the only female a lead character in this production, so it gives it a, a big mm. flair. Yeah. It's also played by Raquel, who looks spectacular <laughs> in... A particular dress. And, there we go. And she can high kick, honey. Yeah. You want to come to see these legs do <laughs> these There legs. we go. Okay. Ah, legs work it. It's coming out now. <laughs> Terence, you've definitely played a range of characters from action stars to romantic leads. How difficult is it to nail comedy, especially in song? I'm a theatre trained actor as much as I do spend a lot of time on television uh, and in front of cameras. So it's Delightful for me to be back on the stage. I, I love musical theatre as well, and um, the three of us actually—they had just we all graduated. Know each other. <laughs> we they had just graduated 15 years ago. We did Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat together, also for Peter Turing Productions. Um, so it's great to be on stage it's together. Like again. Wonderful. A full circle moment for yeah. all of us. Yeah. 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 So that's really special. And but I must say, it is um, another level of fitness. I did. Um, I have a particular costume, um, you'll see in Act One, it's a very, very fitted dress, uh, and um, not as fitted as Raquel's, but <laughs> um, I did have to lose 15 kilograms and get musical theatre fit again to, um, to keep up with the young ones here. If I could bottle you, I'd shove you under my armpits every day. Earl, I have to come over to you. Now, Mal Brooks' lyrics are very comedic. How do you ensure that you articulate the information but also relay that entertainment value? I think comedy is one of the, the most difficult genres to do in theatre because it's just, you know, it's all about timing, it's all about intention, it's all about pace, and you either have the audience on your side or you don't. But I think. Mal Brooks has done an amazing job with, with the script, you know, it's all there in black and white and it's so, so brilliantly and cleverly crafted, um, yeah, which just makes our job so much easier. The show is about producers Max and Leo, who realise that they could get richer by producing a flop rather than a hit. Setting out to create a flop, they instead end up with a hit, throwing their lives into chaos. <laughs> Dwayne, tap dancing is such an exciting genre of dance. Why do you think it sits particularly perfectly in this show? And why do audiences keep coming back? Uh, you know, you can't think of a Broadway show without thinking tap dancing. You know, they're synonymous with each other. All the big, great musicals have an element of tap in them. And even though this wasn't written in that era, it throws back to a lot of those sort of lovely, heartwarming, heartfelt musicals. There are so many references in this musical to big musicals from, you know, from the years gone by. Um, and the, the music, the orchestration, all of that just lends itself to this beautiful tap dancing, which um, I've had great fun choreographing. You don't often get the opportunity to do it. And uh, the cast do a great job of sort of bringing that nostalgia back of that bygone era. 
Garth, tell us about genres of music in the producers and what are some of the influences? The amazing thing about Mel Brooks and his writing is he loves to use this divisive pastiche. So it's basically taking styles of music that people are familiar with or are often not exposed to. So the music in the producers is a wide range of old school Hollywood, Fred and Ginger sort of orchestral sounds with a big band swing, with a little bit of Broadway showbiz jazz and even a German Bavarian sort of hop clop dance. So it's a fantastic mixture that really uh, gives us the eccentricity of Mel Brooks's writing. And I must say that every piece in the production is a showstopper in itself, both choreographically and musically, which means that the cast work incredibly hard to make every number a show-stopping one. Well, the producers run to the Theatre on the Bay in Camps Bay uh, in Cape Town until the 28th of March, and then we go to Peter Turin Theatre at Monte Cassino from the 3rd of April until the end of May. <laughs> Wow, looks like an absolutely brilliant show. Now, if you would like to win two tickets to go and watch The Producers at Peter Turin's Theatre on the Bay in Cape Town or Peter Turin's Monte Cassino Theatre in Johannesburg, then enter our SMS competition. SMS the keyword WIN followed by your full name and your city to 33650. SMSs are one round 50 each. Free SMSs do not apply. T's and C's do apply and you can find them on the Afternoon Express website. All the best, everyone. Now, coming up, it's dominated news headlines since the beginning of the year. Now we get the lowdown on the coronavirus. See you after the break.